You're now tuning to 13 Signs Astrology .com. Thank you all for listening and watching. Uh, this, I had a question from a sister. She wanted me to um, do an episode pertaining to um, when I speak about the ones. And I guess kind of even just breaking down some of my lingo on different episodes. And like, what exactly am I talking about when I say like the ones dropped and stuff like that? So I think this will be a good episode to um, address that really quickly. Um, and the reason why I want to do that is because that's kind of like what kind of put a pin in everything yesterday. Like I was telling you guys, um, essentially what happened was is that my views, like I was, I was given a notification that my views were put up um, into like a form of a gaming bet. And it was like a million of my views put up. Uh, based upon me living in a certain region and that, that team living or, or occupying that region had a hold on my views or whatever because of me residing there. So essentially, to make a long story short, that hold was freed up. So that team decided to trade my views to another team and essentially compete against that team to win. And um, of course, I lost. I mean, I knew that was going to happen because these people are rich. I mean, when they want you out of something, they can put up whatever amount of money they want to put up and make just about almost anything happened when it comes to higher amounts to get you out of something. And that, and, and that's why I want to kind of address the ones on this episode, because when you see high scores, like they had this one high ass game today where it was like <clears throat> the score was so high that it was actually higher than certain ones that drop. Cause like when ones drop, I mean, you always talking about like multiple thousands of dollars, but like this one score that came up today, um, it, it was pretty high or whatever, but you could kind of tell, I mean, that's like a bunch of like, like a group of investors can just go and just start throwing money and ticket money and shit like that at a different gaming event just to make scores go up and make home runs and shit like that go up because that hypes up the event. And that's what determines, you know, how many home runs they want to hit. But like one to zero is a major, it's called a military flag. And what they do is, is that it's like binary code because this is when the computers get involved. See, those other scores is just like man-made almost, you can kind of say. But one to zero is when the computers get involved. And this is when it's kind of like precisely based upon binary code and different things of that nature. So like <clears throat> essentially like when the ones drop, they, they like count them up. So like what they do is, is that like over a period of time, like say for instance, during baseball season, they're going to count up how many ones drop because this makes a flag. It's called a military flag. And based upon how many ones drop, you could claim ownership. We'll see, when ones drop, you got one to zero binary code. Essentially, both teams are up and their commodities are up. Well, I'm not going to really say both teams strictly because it's more precise than that. So I can't really say like both teams are just free because, I mean, of course, somebody won and lost. But what I'm saying is, is that when you have a zero like that and a one to zero, essentially that zero team, their commodities are up for like pretty much crabs at that particular time, certain a certain amount of their commodities, all their commodities, but like a certain amount of commodities are gonna essentially go up for grabs. So they count the ones and um, this like really is like how they detect when they start talking about people owing money and when you start talking about like people, you know, like men in black and the adjustment bureau and people that have contracts to go in and bounty hunters and shit like that, and people that have contracts to go out and like find people that's violating, owing a bunch of people money and all that. This is all tied into the ones. Like for instance, when these big time investors get arrested and they go to jail and all, that, all of this goes back to the ones and money's being allocated and paid and proven through your business that you paid X amount of dollars before the next amount of ones drop. So that's pretty much it. For the ones um, I'm going to work on this next episode coming up, I just want to do the episode for the sister. Um, I hope that helped you, sister. Essentially, like I said, it's a military flag. And once they once it hit a certain, they keep track of and they visa it through numbers. So, like, once it hits a certain number, it converts and goes into different jurisdictions. So, like, the ones grow. It's almost like a different sport within a sport. It's kind of how you can look at it. See, sports is nothing but a casino. And I do want to point this out. So it's like, yeah, you're looking at a baseball game, sure enough. But in that baseball game, you got several different games going on. Because, I mean, you got bets, side bets, you know, and just like craps. I mean, you may have one crap table, but you got about 100 different games going on. I mean, you got the side bets, some people betting on coming out straight, you know, different numbers or whatever. So it's all 
the same when it comes to sports. So like when you watch a sports, you really don't know what you're watching. And it is a soap opera, but just like anything else, you got to tone in from a very long time ago. And a lot of people, like I was saying, their views or their view gets lost because they have no foresight. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode. So thank you for listening and watching. I'm going to go ahead and shut down. And as always, namaste, hotel, wadu. Have a good day.